And no, there is no Dutch oven cooking here. This is what you can take on a small kayak and cook yourself. I thought I would do a little video on, on what I bring kayaking. Uh, we're going on a six day trip. There isn't a lot of stuff online if you're new to kayaking. When I go kayaking, I bring the food I'm gonna eat. I don't have another boat bringing food, so I have to bring it myself. So, if you're a backpacker, if you're new to kayaking, um, this is this is uh, this might be good for you. If you've been a kayaker, maybe this will give you some ideas um, on what to bring. And you know, if if you backpack before, you're already ahead of the game. And the way I kind of see kayaking is backpacking food on steroids is kind of what it's like. It's like it's backpacking food but you can bring a little extra stuff to make it just a little bit better. So that, that's kind of the way I look at it and um, you can only you only have hot water to make you have a small cook stove so you're very limited in what you can make and I just want to show you today um, what I bring and how I do the whole thing. We're gonna do a six day trip uh, kayaking trip and we're bringing our own food what you bring is what you eat uh, and I just kind of wanted to go through with you how I plan it and what I'm gonna eat I had these all set out to days um, so a breakfast lunch and dinner so let's just let's just go to day one real quick um, day one, yeah, I mean, usually it's a, you know, for the, you got to put your drop-off vehicle somewhere, you go to your put-in, you put in, you got a long drive, so you know, you're looking at five hours of drive time, so you need something to eat that you can eat in a pickup or in a truck. You can have whatever you want there. Um, so, so when you get on the river, uh, you might need a little couple little snacks. Um, you know, all I'm bringing is, for the first snack on the river is, I love these cheese and peanut butter crackers. I love them. So, yeah, I'm taking those. My favorite bars are Kind. Um, the store I went to didn't have any Kind. Uh, and it is the COVID stay at home. So I didn't want to go to a different grocery store. So I just bought these uh crunchy peanut butter uh, those are pretty good too but so at night um that first night i'm gonna have some beef stroking off uh, i'm sorry beef stroking off <laughs> first night we're not doing the trip for about for a couple weeks so i'm just getting everything ready and i have to work so i won't have time to do it later so i'm not buying the fresh stuff but um you know, it's it's this good old standby mountain house. Uh, you know it if you're a backpacker. It's actually pretty good stuff. But what puts it over the top is if you can have something with it. So we bring these little bread things. Um, you can bring more if you're kayaking than backpacking. So we bring bread and some olive oil. And we kind of toast those, put some garlic salt on them and it it makes these a hundred times better i mean that, that, that's all i gotta say that if you got a little toasty bread to go with them they're a hundred times better it's worth it to bring to bed um so that's first night uh one thing i failed to mention was a reason i like to do these first night is after you eat them and, and you got a resealable bag it makes a really nice trash bag for the rest of the trip so that's another bonus using that the first day then you have a trash bag now let's just go through my breakfasts um, so you know I have you know day one breakfast I always coffee got I got to have my coffee in the morning and these things are are pretty good they're not bad so they're light, don't take up any space, they're fantastic. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of oatmeal, um, which, you know, you pretty much have hot water. So, you know, I cook up some smack ramen and I put some tuna fish in them. And it doesn't sound good, but man, it is really good. I mean, it's good. Um, this one I, I'm doing hot, hot buffalo style and it's yummy. But, I mean, I really like just the, the regular. I mean, the regular tuna fish in the pack um, with some smack ramen. It's yummy. I mean, it's it's good, and it's it's you know you got nice protein in there. You got some nice carbs in there. It makes for a good day nutrition. It, it's really a, a good breakfast. So uh, so for my breakfast first day, I have uh, ramen and tuna, and then the second day, every day I got two coffees. Um, might not have two coffees every day, but Good old Mountain House biscuits and gravy. I've never tried these. See them. I usually don't eat the Mountain House breakfasts, but I got a box of them that came with it. So, and then you know, there's all sorts of crazy flavors, and I'm gonna try this lime and basil. And you know, you can add the beef flavor or not. Um, it's up to you. I usually add it. It it usually goes pretty good. And then yeah, I mean. Good old sim I, you know, I just, those are really good. They're tasty. You might not think they're tasty, but they are. And then for the last night, or last morning, I should say, for the last morning, it's usually we're in a hurry because we're, we're, you know, floating the last part of the day and we want to hurry up and get on the river as quick as we can because we've got a long drive ahead of us to get home after we float. So you always want a, a quick breakfast in the morning. Um, so that's why I just have this granola with milk and blueberries. Which they're pretty good, but the granola is pretty much oatmeal. So what it turns out to be is pretty much oatmeal. And like I said, I'm not a fan of oatmeal, but um, it, it's pretty good. And um, that's my last day. And uh, one thing I would like to say is... You should always bring, especially floating, you should bring extra food. So, um, this is my extra food. So, I, this is my extra breakfast. Um, this doesn't really sound that great to me. Bacon ranch flavored, but um, I've had it for a while now. And I, I take it with me and never eat it. But um, these things don't go bad. But, yeah, so this is my emergency breakfast in case we have to say... Another night, and we've had to do that before. We've had major problems on the river, and it took us a lot longer than we thought it was going to. So we had to spend another day out in the in the wild. So it was fantastic that that you have an extra day of food. And you know, little this is my so this is my extra day of stuff. So this is my emergency dinner, with all else fails, and this is my emergency lunch extra brownie and some extra hot chocolate now as far as lunches um, i kind of got it broke it out as lunches but i i do have this chill mix that i'm going to bring and i i haven't decided if i'm going to break it out into smaller packs i don't want to open this yet because it's still a couple weeks till we're going so i don't want to get the freshness gone so i might just bring this whole thing and then bring extra Ziploc bags to put it in for the for the lunch. And then I have some jerky here. Um, this is actually, doesn't look like a lot, but it's quite a lot. I mean, a lunch, I mean, that's like three or four lunches, probably really, if you're eating other stuff too. So, um, they, so this is my lunch. I have little pistachios, yummy. And this is kind of my, so I have my lunches uh, going here for every day. I've, I've set them out. Okay, this is my lunches, and and you got to remember that, you know, this is my lunch, but I also am going to add some trail mix with it and some jerky, or maybe I get tired of jerky and trail mix and I don't eat it for this day or something. But that's that. The important thing is the dinners. Um, 
and like I said, beef stroganoff and beef stroganoff and some bread makes it a lot better. And so that'll be the night one. And you know, bring some bread and some garlic salt and some oil, and you can toast up your own bread. It'll be yummy. Now uh, I have a few of these MREs. And they're they're kind of crazy. I don't know if you've ever had one, but I'm gonna have one because they're they're a lot of fun. Um, and this one's white chunks, chicken chunks, white cooked. And I've never had that kind. Um, I'm gonna try it. Uh, it's always like a surprise. You never know what's gonna be in here. Usually they have uh, you know beverage mix. They have matches. They have toilet paper. They have what you need for a day of survival. Um, they are heavy, so I would never take them backpacking. That's why I'm taking them kayaking, because weight's not as much of a concern. But I know they have some lunch stuff for the day in there. I mean, I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I am going to make a video opening this up uh, on the river in the wild. We'll see what's in there. But usually they have some snacks for the, for the lunch. So the next launch day, I don't have much for my lunch. Just my favorite cheese, peanut butter, uh, crackers. But this is going to have some of my lunch in it. So I'm going to kind of add that. And, you know, I always have this too. But um, And then at night, um, this is a new thing. I've never had this. But what I'm going to do... Because I saw this in the store. This is roast beef. And I'll cover the brand. Um, it's roast beef with gravy. I mean, yeah, that sounds pretty dang good. And when you're backpacking, you, you can't take canned foods with you. But you're kayaking. So we have a little... This is the backpacking food on steroids. We have a little more versatility. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna use the flavor packet but I'm gonna cook up two of these smack ramens in my pot and then I'm gonna mix this in with it I'm gonna open it up dump it in and mix it all together and that's gonna be my dinner and it actually sounds pretty good I just added one thing I forgot to put in here and that's my my water bottles and those are full of whipped cream vodka and what I do is at night um, the reason why I have hot chocolate is not because I just want a cup of hot chocolate I want a cup of hot chocolate and some whipped cream vodka so I have hot chocolate every night so I can have some whipped cream and vodka so that, that's kind of why that's that's there just to explain it and these are really good um, Desserts. I mean, it's nice to have a sweet when you're out anywhere, and these don't melt. Um, you can crush them, and they're still pretty good. And they're actually kind of good for you. I mean, they're a little kind of they're fiber one, but they're tasty and they're, they're a nice sweet to have. So you like to have that as a sweet. Uh, my next dinner, uh, and I, I forgot to say that. I'm going to use some bread with this chicken chunks. I don't know what this chicken chunks, why it's going to be like. I have no idea. But I'm going to be using some bread that I had for the stroganoff. I'm going to have some leftover bread. And I'll have some bread and toast. Toasted bread with some chicken chunks. That might make it better. And I might even have some toasted bread with my roast beef with gravy and ramen. That might be good. That's why I'm doing those the first nights. Because the bread's going to be the freshest. Um, for my fourth night, um, tortillas is a good thing. They they don't they don't need to be refrigerated, and you know they last forever. So on my fourth night, I'm going to have some uh, tortilla dinner. And what I've this is my little concoction. Uh, we got some shredded chicken breasts. We're going to warm that up. And then we're going to put some 
wicked tasty taco slow simmer taco sauce on it it only has a simmer for like three to five minutes so it's not like it's simmering for a long time so you can do it on your backpacking stove um, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna put some green chilies in it and we're also gonna have some frijoles refritos some refried beans and so I still need to get tortillas uh, that's going to be added, but that's going to be a yummy dinner. And the good thing about that is I'm cooking way too much than I need. So I'm going to have some leftover for lunch. So I'm going to make some tortillas for lunch. Eat all I can, make some tortillas, and next day I'm going to have some leftover tortillas. So the next day, you know, I have a pretty limited lunch. Um, like I say, I always have the the jerky and the the trail mix but uh and a couple of burritos so i'm good there and then last night um I've, this is another thing i've never tried and um it's called frito pie and i'm gonna go ahead and try it on the the river i'm trying it out in the field and i'm not using this actual fritos bag um, but what you do is, it's a, a small bag like, like you buy at a convenience store. So it's a small Fritos bag, it's half this size. It's really, you know, pretty small. What you do is you, you cut it down the middle, you warm up your chili, and you jump, dump your chili in the Fritos bag. And then you eat the Fritos out of the bag. So, I mean, you have no dishes. And it sounds, I, I, I like Fritos, I like chili. Um, I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna have that for dinner one night. And I've been out for five days, so that might be really tasty. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the last day, there's no dinner because we're, we're leaving. And then the extra food. I mean, that's a lot of food to take but it is a six day trip. Okay, and just for ease and find it easily, put all my breakfast stuff in one bag. That way, breakfast, grab it, got everything I need in it. I uh, put all my lunch stuff in one bag and all my hot chocolate and some dessert at night in another bag. And I'm just going to put everything else in my food bag. And I still need to get bread, tortillas, a smaller thing of Fritos. And I decided I'm going to try to get some cheese. I mean, cheese goes good on everything. Come on. Maybe I'll bring some string cheese, melt it in there. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty much ready to go pretty heavy glad I'm not backpacking and there's my food bag weighs in at a uh, 13 pounds six days the friends I go with usually have some crazy things that they cook I will film that and share it on the river if you have any great ideas that you can add to the conversation i would love to hear about it and thanks for watching and remember you can do it